Welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue evaluating uh, numerical expressions, just getting some additional practice. What if we had the expression 8 minus 3 uh, plus 3? Uh, what would that expression evaluate to? How do we do that? Well, first we have to do what's inside these parentheses first. We always do what's inside the parentheses first. You'll hear me talk about that so many times you'll probably get sick of me. Inside the parentheses, 8 minus 3 is 5. So we'll keep that inside the parentheses. We'll say that that's 5. And then we have the plus 3 on the outside. Now that you've done the math inside the parentheses, you can mentally drop the parentheses. And now you just say 5 plus 3 is 8. And that's the answer. All right, so we'll just do several of these just to give you some practice. What if you have the expression 5 times, and we'll open the parentheses, 11 plus 1. What do you think you do first? I've said it about 25 times. You just do what's inside of these parentheses first. So the 5 on the outside, just you leave them alone. And inside the parentheses, 11 plus 1 is 12. And now that you've done that, you can mentally drop the parentheses. 12, or I should say 5 times 12, is going to be equal to 60. And that's going to be the final answer to evaluate that numerical expression. Now, what if we have uh, 6 plus 12? And we'll take that and we'll divide by 3. What do we do first? Again, we do what's inside of these parentheses. So 6 plus 12 is going to be 18. And then we still have to divide by the 3 that comes along for the ride. So now you can drop the parentheses mentally. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And there you go. Uh, what if we have uh, 29? 29 minus 0 times 9 inside these parentheses. So again, we do what's inside the parentheses first. The 29 comes along for the ride. Minus 0 times 9 is just going to give you 